Hello everyone, my name is Mitt, here back at Phoenix Wright Conflict of Interest. So, we're on the second day of the modern day trial. We had a back-to-back, -back, like, sort of case from the past of MM6, of, um, uh, the diner incident with Mr. Kasari being sleep being blamed and framed for that murder by Mr. Christoph Gavin, instead of, uh, Finnegan Hood. Like, actually, I really let's see how he would act as an attorney back then, like, oh boy. Oh, if he missed that chance, we'll probably never get it, get it again sad but now we're going on to the second case where we identified the victim and we're mostly fo focusing on um, uh, this uh gildenstern or in other words virgil black he's dead now so tell us all more about us uh you old man my calculations put the death at oh roughly 30 days ago yeah it's basically a month ago so at the same time he went to prison too so that he like broke out of jail just to like I guess make more. I guess also makes sense that he wanted to like break out of jail to kill more. Um, uh, try to kill more like uh, Revali's goons and all that, or literally maybe the Revali is like just really just personally just want to kill him to make sure. So it could be either or. We still don't have anything point to either direction. He'd be stabbed, though the wound would not have been fatal. Oh my gosh! Actually, it would have been a thing like I'm um, uh, necessarily the killer to, like was hired to do that. I mean, like, to break into a, a jail and all that. I mean, if you can, like, get through, like, him, uh, uh, well, quote unquote, top notch security, a, a bodyguard security, then I'm, uh, why not a whole thing for police, detention center, prison, egoi. If he has that, he can basically just, just break himself out. Oh boy. The cause of death was strangulation with a thick rectangular object, source yet unknown. Rectangular. Like, some sort of bar? I guess an iron bar, I guess my first thought is, but it's like more rounded. Hmm. After that, he was buried in the ground, where he remained till just the other day. The science of DNA testing has proved that he's indeed Virgil Black. Eureka! Okay. You were stabbed in addition to being strangled. Do you know roughly when that happened? It's hard to say, though the amount of blood in his lungs suggests he lived for some time. He was simply stabbed a while before he was throttled. There must have been some sort of altercation beforehand. Okay, so unlike unlike Jameson, there actually was a struggle with Virgil Black, actually. Hmm. I would presume it was when he was kidnapped from the police. How horrid. Thank you for your report. Straight to the point. I like that. Wait, was a month ago Lenly when the Sir Galante case like Sir Galante case went and came? Hmm. I would think, like, Phoenix, like, would have heard this a while back. Hmm. Yeah. I made sure to include all the necessary details. Prosecutor Von Karma was quite pleased. You did well, Doctor. We appreciate your effort. This time of death is rather specific for a month-old body. Can you be that precise? Ah, the wonders of science, yes? It was quite complicated. It involved analysis of the moisture of the dirt and the rate of decomposition plus the acidity of... We don't need the technical details, thank you. His report explains everything. The victim's identity, cause of death, and approximate time of death. Your Honor, it will be submitted immediately. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, let's take a read of that. Not much to argue with here. Yeah, I'll say so far. Okay, update for Richard Black. Nice, okay, the last time we're gonna probably see that sick afro. It's cool with hair, dude. Virgil Black, age 31, victim was killed on the September 9th of this year. Cause of death appears to have been strangulation after having already been stabbed in the left lung. The specimen was then buried underground where the moist soil sped up decomposition. Okay. So, like, obviously not at the time, exact time of death, like, oh, it happened at, like, 1 p.m. on this day, just the just their general date, yeah. Having already been just having left alone, okay, maybe there's a whole thing of like, I'm a, oh my gosh, the killer was left-handed, that's why didn't he stab him to the right lung, which is technically on his left side of the body, what, I, all that kind of thing, hmm, stab in the left lung, don't know exactly how it's going to like, figure anything out per se so far, hmm, well, how's it was like, he was stabbed, then strangled, just be sure, yeah, okay, he died from strangulation itself, but was stabbed beforehand, Strangulation was the final, I guess, quote unquote, blow. Hmm. It's just the basic facts, so we should treat it like a detective's testimony. We still don't know much about what went on with Black. Now might be a good chance to get some more answers.
Hmm. The specimen. Yeah, yeah. Can I actually put a death at a rookie 30 days ago? Probably the closer we're gonna get to any kind of a um, uh, TOD. How do you arrive at that number? Through mathematical calculus equations. Why forensic, of course. And math. You see, there are a number of variables that would go into the rate decomposition. Temperature, acidity, the soil, deadness, etc., 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 all leading to one conclusion. 30 days. Give or take a few hours. Wow. Never would have guessed the results could be that accurate. Well, if it's down to a few hours, I want you to list that then. Yes, sir. Science is always moving forward, progressing us into the future. Please, as defense, we have a separate witness who backs that number up. It happened when the doctor says it did. Hmm. The testimonies match up. There's not much press here then. It's probably safe to assume he was killed 30 days ago then. Hmm. How did he die? Hmm. He been stabbed, though the wound would not have been fatal. Wait, he was stabbed in the lung now. Uh, I'm pretty sure if he got stabbed in the lung, it like you know, I'm, uh, blood starts filling the lung and would turn fatal. So like the, the culprit's like, eh, nah, we don't. He just got stabbed in the lung. That's not good enough. Time to strangle him. <laughs> Where was he stabbed? It was in the upper torso. The blade just m nearly missed the aorta. For those of us who didn't do well in biology, what exactly is that? I don't remember what the orta is. I, I, I can only imagine it's like a big blood vessel, I guess. Thing. It's a very large ar Okay, no, artery. Ah, I, I, I got the, even the name wrong. Blood vessel is the smallest version. Like, blood vessels are like just the blood itself. Uh, I was thinking of artery. It's a very large artery. Getting stabbed there would be akin to getting stabbed in the heart. Uh, yeah. Mr. Black would have almost died almost instantly the blade that connected with it. But it didn't, so nothing vital was damaged? Oh, to Mr. Stanley, sir. A sad there wouldn't get past to any person, even not fatal. How much of the blood loss and pain would have rendered a specimen unconscious? Shut up. And he woke up later and his detective realized the mistake. And how do we know that? The cause of death, you see. Mr. Black wasn't killed by a stab wound. He was actually poisoned. The cause of death was strangulation from a thick rectangular object, source yet unknown. Like... Re rectangular. Do we even have anything that could be rectangular right now, or we have to look at it up? <gasps> he was strangled by the wiretap! It all makes sense now! Or the card itself, no? The wiretap? <laughs> How thick was it? Oh, well, that's a relative term. Bigger than a wire, definitely. It wasn't a grot. I'd say around four centimeters. Just under two inches. Not a grot wire, and not a pair of hands. What else is available? A wiretap! Once the killer strangled him, what did he do? Well, provide I don't even know what a wiretap looks in person. I'm not that degenerate. After that, he was buried in the ground where he remained until just the other day. Hmm. You're sure his body never left the pit? Why well, would I assume so? Surely somebody would have reported the body otherwise. I don't believe the killer would dig him up just to rebury him in the same spot. Well, he just wanted to be sure that the ghost of, of haunting after killing them was still there. And just add them even more, cut them up, and make sure they don't get haunted ever again. Logically speaking, there isn't much reason to assume it left the grave. It? Oh, yes, sir. I was just getting to the identity. Make it to you. Now, why? I, I'm more curious, like, why Francisca hasn't commented on his, uh, pattern of speeching. The science of DNA testing is proven that he was indeed Virgil Black. Eureka! Okay. How precise is DNA testing? Oh, it's quite accurate, I assure you. No doubting it. If the, if the sample of the DNA has been, you know, contaminated, then yes. Black had been recently arrested. We have an entire set of data on him. Okay, well, it makes more sense, actually. Thanks to that, there is very little doubt that Gillinster was him. <gasps> yes, sir! DNA, ma DNA matched right up. We can compare the dental records as well, if you'd like. DNA will do. There isn't anything setting off any red flags for me. There isn't a whole lot to question. These are just the basic facts. Sounds right. Kind of like the testimony Sister Waters give. In that case, there'll be contradictions to the wazoo. I'm telling you we said that. I'm the only one not allowed to make jokes at other people's expense. Yes. So, wait, 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 wait there's supposed to be contradiction here? He'd been stabbed, though the wound would not have been fatal. What? Okay. Cause that's the regulation of a thick rectangular object source yet unknown. It's buried in the ground where he remained until just the other day. Science of the DNA testing has proven that he was indeed Virgil Black. We're supposed to find a contradiction within all of this? 
What happens if we even have that connects to to him? Where's confession? I knew James still was working through the next six and blow. Finkin hook cut his hand on broken glass. There's literally nothing. Do we literally all we we literally to use the autopsy report? Because the ninth caused death to be a strangulation to her having already been said that left lung. Was that buried in the ground where the so most soil was out of decomposition? Okay, there's really not much. He's been stabbed, though the wound would not have been fatal. Caused death of strangulation. Thick retaining heart is actually unknown. We either actually present like what the the weapon was that strangled him. We don't even have anything with that. Hmm. Are you saying that could have been something in the storm shelter, storm cellar as well? I mean, like, uh, I can't even think like any tools that be like have ever changed their shape really. Maybe I guess that the only thing I think it was like maybe like certain heads of like um, a hammer, but like why would exactly use that to strangle someone? Like the head of the hammer, not like I guess the uh, you know the handle. But why would you use the handle strangling someone to like bash their head and like a certain other culprit did with bashing the, someone else's head to win with a shovel? Hmm. I don't think we have anything to figure out what the weapon is. The wound has not been fatal. My calculations put the death at roughly 30 days ago. Stabbed through the wound would not have been fatal. The death of strangulation from a thick rectangular object, just yet, source yet unknown. I mean, until just the other day. That makes sense. He was buried into the ground to remain the other day. He was dug up recently. That like that literally goes well. Sucks DNA testing has proven that he was indeed Virgil Black, Eureka. What exactly do you have to prove that's not Virgil Black? So let's see if there's a contradiction here. He's buried in the ground where he remained until just the other day. So like we're just to find some proof. Like, uh like well, obviously the the shovel, like they were digging the grave before this trouble's been used for murder, like the blood is over top of the dirt. So yeah. Okay, I well I mean I guess that kinda makes sense at the same time as a bit. Hmm, I guess that makes sense, but it's a bit far fetched, but we actually are supposed to present like something that could be I guess the weapon is strangled? Virgil Black, and I'm, uh, apparently it's, a uh, shovel? Alright. Okay. I'm not exactly mad about it at the same time, just, like, how just to, like, figure that out, really? What if the murder weapon was the same in both cases? The shovel. It's not a thing you normally strangle somebody with. Uh, yeah? So like, why would be the why would the why would the be anyone's first thought to present it? <laughs> Take a closer look at the shape of the handle. It's circular. Like, I mean, I guess it's rectangular from an angle, but still, it's thick. It's rounded, rounded, and most importantly, oh, from the angle, it's shaped like a rectangle. Uh, but when you like, like one of the impressions and like the I guess uh thing. Well, I guess, yeah, never mind. I guess what makes sense, like a cylinder, like, printed onto, like, a page, like, ink would just be a rectangle almost then. It matches the bruises that Mr. Black had on his neck. I mean, I guess so. Objection! Fool! Who should go to man with a shovel? Didn't Jameson's death show there's much more efficient way to commit murder with one? That's also way more dramatic. And messier, noisier, too. Oh, I see! So literally the culprit stabbed... Stabbed Mr. Virgil Black's chest and lung with a shovel and then strangled him. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Mr. Black had already been stabbed in the chest and wasn't going anywhere fast. The killer could kill him more quietly by strangling him instead. Hmm. Well, then Phoenix, right? I haven't had that fingerprint reports on hand. Do you think you can prove somebody used his weapon before Jameson's death? Uh. Fingerprint results? Wait, what? What exactly are you looking for here? I mean, I saw, like, what's our fingerprints like before, but that, this could have been determined in this case? Yeah, I think that's, like, the, those black marks are fingerprints. Okay. Look closely at the prints are positioned. Two in particular. Those are very, very, like, 
blurry from this angle anyway. The only reason I'm pretty sure I would even notice it if, like, if we hadn't got a close-up of uh, the thing to show off it was rectangular. That's the only thing. These two handprints are under the blood stain. The shovel must have been held before Mr. Jameson's murder. Uh, I mean, yeah. Fool! The suspect owned it! Of course he carried it before! Look at how the fingerprints are pointing. They're facing the same way. Isn't this- this isn't the way you hold a shovel to use normally. Francisco, would you please hold out your hands like you were gonna dig a hole? I mean, like, uh, like that, your... Your thumb would be, like... If you're, like, holding the shovel, I guess your thumb would be, like, pointed downward near the shovel, like, shovel's, like, a uh, blade. So, hmm. Shrinking someone, your thumb would be, like, over, like, actually pointed towards your other fingers right around it, so... This way would be really uncomfortable, wouldn't it? It would be perfectly easy to strangle somebody. Your Honor, we need to have the subway's handle and analyze further. Why didn't you do that before already for fingerprints? Yes, we'll, set a, we'll have a set back and see what they find. Like, why didn't you? Already by this point? They look for the results. Uh, the shovel was analyzed as requested, sir. We have a full report here. Thank you. Ms. Marcarbo, would you please read it for us? Trace of Virgin Black's DNA were found the handle, opposite the prints. Why didn't you bother, like, if you're looking at fingerprints and all that, I mean, I guess you're focused on fingerprints itself, but DNA, if you're gonna bring up fingerprints now. Oh, Mr. Wright was, well, right. It appears so. <laughs> Don't look at me. It's my daughter's embodies the evidence. Uh, wait, uh, I'm trying to think. Wasn't there a Kate, like, a time before he did this, the, before, though? The prince must have been skipped the first time when they saw the blood stain. Why wouldn't you bother looking at the fing- Wait, the prints? Wait, hold on a second. How would you skip the fingerprints if the suspect's fingerprints are already on it and you actually analyze those? Wait, so you only looked at one set of fingerprints instead of the other. Wait, what? Okay. What's the report say about the new handprints? Unidentifiable, Your Honor. So you didn't even bring that up? Obadia, again, what the fuck? How would it be possible to identify the killer from them? Oh, no, it wouldn't. Drat, didn't help much. Uh, it kind of did. The fact that is, the fact that it was used twice, more or less, points directly to the suspect. How could anybody else have stolen it twice without his knowing? That didn't help me at all. Yeah. Hmm. Should we turn to our motive? We barely got started on that. Okay, well, that, okay, Shovel, you're gone. Used to kill both victims has a suspect's fingerprints, muddy prints on handle identifiable. Hmm. All I really can prove is like literally the suspect held it once or twice, but it makes sense because it's his shovel. Hmm. Ah oh, yes! Leave it to me, sir. Morton Dreesen has you covered. What is your pun name here? Morton Dreesen? Mortuary? In the obituaries? I don't know. Motive for killing black. Wait, why are you giving the motive instead of, like, well, I, eh, why not? Eh, it's easier, I guess. Yes, the motive was the same as it was the other. A mafia assassination. You see, the assessment had been involved in, shall we say, mass murder? Oh, yeah, you make it sound like it's a joke. The Valley's family had been, his, had been his victim, so they wanted to get back at him. And there you have it, sir. The man responsible for that list was tying up loose ends. Okay. Oh, yo. Okay. They seem like detective work. Should you be the one testifying? Yeah, that was my first thought. That's perhaps not what you call my area of expertise, sir. But I said exactly what Mr. Waters and the lady prosecutor would have. The story will be the same, no matter what who's delivered by. But he said, the prosecution has no fault the doctor testifying in the motive. Neither should you. Exactly. We're still talking about the specimen, aren't we? Hope you won't take offense with my continuing, Mr. Cicatrice. Mr. Si Thank you for the reference. Mr. Who? Why, Mr. Secretary's over there! The defense! He... he means me. <laughs> well, you don't have a scar. I only real- uh, god damn it, I just realized Secretary is like, isn't it Spanish for scar? I- ah, oh, god, that's like, god damn it, that's- that's a cool pun or just joke for it. Oh, gosh. Oh, god, I can't remember what Mr. Secretary's first name was, and- and I'm, uh, kind of the court, god. Vincenzo, yeah, that was it. God, defense attorney there for the first case. Quote unquote. 
foolish fool. You can't even get his name right. Okay, thank you, finally. Great Scott, sir, it was a simple mistake. Great Scott, okay. Phoenix Wright, say it with me. Phoenix Wright. Yeah. Phoenix Wright, sir. Phoenix Wright. I do I think I've got it now. She needs to be more irked about it than, me, than I am. I mean, yeah, because she says it full name, so why not? They sent them one in the receiving end of that whip. Motive for killing Black. Okay, so... The motive was the same as it was for the other. A mafia assassination. Higyoi. Do we know for a fact that Mr. Jameson was killed as a hit job? It makes sense, does it not? I mean, I guess, but at the same time, there's no proof. Especially now that we have ID'd Mr. Guildenstern. You can't make that conclusion just based on a card found in the suspect's house. My, my, aren't we picky today? Well, I'm a picky eater, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty picky about my information. Let's say Jameson was killed for some other reason. The evidence overwhelmingly suggests that Mr. Black was a hit job. For the current discussion, that is more important. Oh, yes, that's correct, sir. Allow me to explain more about that. Hmm, okay. You see, the specimen had been involved in, shall we say, oh, mass murder? Again, still, it sounds like you're making a joke. Uh, sure. We can call it that. Like, I'm pretty sure two people is not mass murder. I guess it would be like... It's like the first step to serial killing. If you have three, then it's a serial killing. Can we just... Are we just using the hit list as proof of the mo mo motive? Silly man, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Silly Phoenix Wright. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> of course, Raleigh's family wanted Sir Galante dead. Did you forget what he'd done to them? Let's face it. Out of everybody in the world, they would have the most reason to hate him. Just correct. There's not much point in questioning it. I can't see any reason to cheer at the moment, so let's just, let's just accept it for now. Ah, oh, I'm glad you agree, Phoenix Wright. It does make perfect sense. Now he's my full name, too? Okay. Well, it's better than... Well, Miss Cicatrice is actually a cool name, actually. Even just realizing that, like, I'm, uh, it's just Spanish for Scar, it just sounds... It sounds cool, honestly. It sounds really cool. But I guess it would, it would, be, it would still sound really weird. Just, um, uh, if you're a Spanish speaker, you're just like... Ah, Mr. Scar. I see. <laughs> oh, I didn't skip to that. Okay, Revali's family had been his victims, so they wanted to get back at him. Okay. Not a weird habit. I guess all that superheroing came back to bite him, huh? Like a dog? Hmm. Well, if you call slaughtering upwards of 20 people with a sword being a superhero, well, I mean, it's called vigilanteism. Then yes? Eh. Of course it's not. He was a murderous brute. Pretty cold-blooded. I'd say it's more anti-hero territory. I mean, yeah, really, honestly. Let's not forget what he did to the witness stand. I think you're all missing my point. I mean, the witness stand was the truest casualty here. And there you have it, sir. The main responsible for that list was tying up loose ends. Loose ends? Well, he was the last one on their list, correct? I forgot him. They being the Ravalli's family? Well, I suppose it must have been them. With the individual assassin who killed the rest, more specifically. So all these people were killed by the same person? Didn't Miss Porter say something about an assassination? Her family's family killed my sister. It's been oh, a good decade by now. I never let it go. You think my client did it? Hell no, they already know who shot her, and nobody's seen him in years. Where it has it, Micro Valley's had him killed. Portrayed his own lackey. Hmm. You're right, he killed her sister, Water's wife. The assassin who was betrayed by Micro Valets. Hmm. Can't be just a coincidence. So, like, oh yeah, it definitely had to be Francisco Mendez then, right? Hmm. The motive is that he was killed for being Sir Galante. Seems pretty good, actually. Yeah, as far as motives go, it's perfect. Maybe we just need to find a way to distance Mr. Garcerian from it. I mean, unless you really think he killed the people on that hit list. Might be something I see. Again, it's almost too easy. Almost. We still have a response to it. I'm afraid to find out. Motive was the same as it was for the other mafia assassination. Specimen had been involved in, shall we say, mass murder. Had been his victim, so they wanted to get back at him. So it's easy to point out. The main response on that list is tying up loose ends. Hmm. 
So there's an easy contradiction here. Okay, so the wait distance from your Monsieur Alan Yersarian from it. So people in rather trouble since the Parker doesn't work, so they appear they are removed. Hmm. Distance. Distance. Hmm. Motive was the same as it always was for the other. A mafia assassination. I mean, I guess it makes sense with the motive list being it. Well, a hit list being the motive. The specimen have been involved in, shall we say, mass murder. I mean, like, uh... The specimen you're talking about is a uh, or Black, so that continues on. We already proved that definitively, so yes. Revali's family had been his victims, so they wanted to get back at him. That makes sense for motive. There you have it, sir. The man responsible for that list is tying up loose ends. The man responsible for that list? Like, how do you know that um, uh, Alan Yossarian was the one who did it? I mean, if it was like, Francisco Mendez who was responsible for that list, then I guess so? I mean, doesn't, didn't, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say that Alan Yossarian, like, basically, like, got retired from the force and like that. This is... Oh, wait, no, Carlo, we, hold on a second. Carlo Luciano, uh, Ryan's assassin killed an MN6 case. The man responsible for that list tying up loose ends. No, wait, if you were talking about that, and, like, I'm, uh, the person who did that, if the Rafael's assassin was Carlo Luciano, then here, then, I'm, uh, that wouldn't make much sense, because he died six years ago. So let's go try using that. There we go. Okay, Doctor, this assassin, was he Carlo Luciano by any chance? God, yes, you're correct. It seems odd to me that you would know about that man. I had a lengthy discussion about M MN6 yesterday. I know who Luciano was and what he did. He was the Ravalli's family's top assassin. And you also know that Luciano's dead and uncremated. Cremated? He has been for years. Did you just present press this and remind us the... the ah. Did you just press this to remind the rest of us? The hits in that list were all made by Luciano. Are you trying to say he... The man who responsible somehow also killed Virgil Black? Well, I mean, yeah, if the spirit meetings are a thing, then obviously he'd subvert then the spirit meeting channeled him and killed him. I mean, Glass Porter was on the scene! Yeah! Fool. You thought I would be foolish enough to say that. This new Phoenix, right? The assassin who killed those people was dead. But there were others involved with the planning. Such as the defendant. What? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess he is part of the mob, like, the mob, I guess, hmm. But you were surprised with that? That's right. Record C's in Micro Valley's penthouse suggest you were complicit. Oh, okay, well, it makes sense why you get files in there, because you just, you know, the search through uh, the penthouse area just to make sure it was murder. Hmm. Stupid dame. I knew, but that's all. Just what everyone knew. Work in this business, you had to know. Mr. Saring, you don't have to speak about any of this. Yeah? What do you care? That's why you brought Luciano, isn't it? What? What? Well, isn't it? Wimson may well be still on the bench. Listen, all of you. No one doesn't make it complicit. When Michael Rallies ordered something, you didn't question it. Don't play the fool with me. You are his trusted officer. To make a lick of difference. He would have killed me like anyone else if he got the chance. He had knowledge of the murders. Admit it. At best, it makes you an accessory, and at worst... Tagnabbit! You don't have any proof! You can't! They would've destroyed it long ago! Are you worried yet? I... I'm actually not even grasping the situation right here. I'll admit, I'm a lot more ready to side with Francisco over him. He even tried to call you out. Can't you see? He was worried you'd bring that up. So my goal to dig up all the skeletons in this closet. But neither do I want to be defending the mastermind to all these deaths. Is Francisco right about him? Remember, I'm here for the killer. I still don't know what he has to do with any of this. Uh, yeah. I said this was sufficient motive? Accomplice or not, he still worked with the family. What is the prosecution's next argument? We have only one, Your Honor. To prove he's the killer. Let me connect both cases for you. Both Jameson and Black were slain by the same hand. I will show just this. Oh. Oh, okay, we're doing your rebuttal then. Huh. Well, I guess we'll leave that for next time then. 
Hmm. I, uh, just the one thing, I don't exactly, I, like I mentioned again, I don't know exactly, can't grasp the situation of what's going on with Alien Story and being like, um, uh, all that, why I got so flustered. If it was, you know, that public knowledge, like, I mean, yeah, like Wayne Parker, I guess, like, helped, I guess, a bit. Mostly just, like, I'm gonna tell people, like, uh, pay your dues to the family and all that, and, like, that's it, but are you now, like, this, uh, upset? And because, like, it's now being brought up again? It doesn't make too much sense, like, if it's gonna be common knowledge, it's common knowledge you say, so why are you so flustered about it? it doesn't make too much sense. Hmm. Well, then I guess the next time we'll be seeing what Francisco will be saying about how the proof Alan Eusterian would be the culprit for both cases. Literally, like, this definitely, this this whole entire, like, turnabout case would just be a bit different since you, you can literally just make it so the defendant could be innocent or guilty here. It's hard to even pinpoint either way because at the same time it's easy to pinpoint at the same time, but also, huh. Hmm. Well, at the same time, it seems too easy because of the fingerprints of the shovel and all that, so it's probably not him. But it still could be. Uh, the doubt's trickling in. But we'll see what Francis has to say about all this matter for next time. So, for fun time watches, I am playing us. Hope to see you next time. What time may be. And I'll hope you a fantastic day.